here. This is the restaurant, which is supposedly a five-star restaurant. I've never eaten in it. It's a little pricey. And, oh, I love this. We had to get over here to get it. Look at that. That is so amazing. It's kind of like, and you'll see the toe thing. See the toe? We're going on this, by the way. It's not a ride. It's a show. It's really great. Um, hello, Lost. Where did they get their idea from? All right, so they've changed this show about four times. They have a schizophrenic problem with this. Uh, it's 30 minutes. I'm not waiting that long. We're going on. We'll come back. Um, they've changed the show, like, multiple times. It's still the, essentially the same thing. Fire, water, kind of ooh display, but um, they've changed the storyline a bit. I like the most recent show. Um, the critics are out about that, though. This Fire Eaters isn't open any longer. Closed it, like, two years ago. Well, eh, shortly after 9-11, because of dwindling uh, park attendance, but they used to have the bomb chicken uh, buffalo finger type things. Really good. So, you can probably get them at the other restaurants in the park, but this is one of the nicer decorated areas, I think. And I'm sure now with the right focus and in high def, this is all looking just as special as it is for me. Oops, a little congestion here. Oh, here's the fountain. That's obnoxious. And that will squirt you. It talks to you. There's somebody up there. Eh, I know all the magic. Oh, excuse me, wrong part. I know all the secrets. Alright, so that thing, we used to make fun of it. Let's see what time the... It's 1.38. Let's see what time this show starts. I gotta get back. If this thing splashes my camera, I will close. Alright, we'll get back on that. You gotta ignore it, because otherwise it'll say something. One o'clock. We've already started. I care not to see it after it's already started. Alright, we'll go this way. I'm holding the camera about shoulder length, which I guess is pretty much normal people's height. Excellent. <laughs> so I'll be able to view this later and see what normal people see. Right now we're back in the very circusy carnival fairway area. Oh, and in the day. The Alchemy Bar. Right up ahead here. Look at that gnarled tree. It's like it's been there forever. And here's Dueling Dragons. Wait time, 10 minutes. Hmm. It's a long walk there, though. It's like a mile from here. <laughs> God, I love to complain. Eh, Paris is worth a mess, right? Alright, so, I just had my gonads pulled by Dueling Dragons. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you're not a guy and you haven't ridden it. It just pulls the G-forces, that is. Alright, so... Why are they running a single? They're running a single coaster without blue. Usually they're in sync. Okay. Anyway, mine, uh, my ride was in sync, and we had the little near collision with red. Oh, no, I was on red. I was on fire. I was fire. So this is like the exit area. You can watch the coaster from the bike. Here's the castle walk through for about a mile. Alrighty. Yeah, it's like half the intensity when it's only one car. There's ice coming down now. Like crazy. I wonder if it was an accident. 
Oh no. Oh no. That was an accidental launch. So, let's say you're coming back from the Lost Continents area, you're going through Seuss, and you don't want to walk all the way from there. Look at all the people. We gotta go the back way. Alright, so this is the secret way. It's not really a secret, but... cut out a good portion of the trek, and here we are at the other entrance to Seuss Landing, back at the backwater bar. It's tempting, folks, it's tempting. 